In this video, we're going to look at how to optimise the right parasternal inflow view. This is such an important view in veterinary echocardiography. We can tell so much from just this one view. The things we're going to look at in this video are bringing your image on axis. On axis means that the walls of the left ventricle should be like this on your screen, not like this. So we'll look at how to get an image that does look like this and bring it on axis like this. Then we're going to look at foreshortening. Foreshortening is something we've looked at in a previous video on the left apical views, and that's where the apex of the heart is going to appear to move in towards the base. And from the right parasternal long axis view, instead of having that nice long ventricle, you'll have a slightly circular ventricle, almost as if you're halfway between a long and a short axis view. That's a really common problem, and we'll look at how to correct that. And of course, we will look at optimising your main controls. That's depth, frequency, gain and focal point. These should be optimised for this view and you will need to change them again in subsequent views. When you first start scanning, remember to optimise your depth, gain, frequency and focal point. Let's start with depth. Reduce this so that the ventricle fills up most of the image. Move your focal point down to the level of the free wall. And use the highest frequency possible for your patient. If your image is too dark, then remember to turn up your gain. And if it's too bright, then turn your gain down. To bring your image on axis, shift your hand up cranially one or two rib spaces. If your left ventricle looks somewhat circular and the apex is squeezing towards the base, then you'll need to rotate your hand anti-clockwise to lengthen it out. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was useful to you. Please don't forget to like the video and please subscribe to our channel if you'd like to be alerted to future videos like this. If you're ready to really become confident in veterinary echocardiography, there is a link in the description below where you can book a call with me. We can discuss where you're at right now and see if you would be a good fit for our online program. Even if you're not, there's still plenty we can discuss and resources I can send you to help you. I hope to hear from you.